Uh, we've got, um, at this stage, there's been two confirmed deaths, one in a place called Kaikoura, north of Christchurch, and one in a place called Mount Lyford, where a ski field is. And uh, all the roads are out all around those areas, and the uh, little villages are completely isolated. So villages that are isolated, what steps are being taken to actually help these affected areas? Uh, they're flying in um, people that are observing the roads to see if the bridges are intact. And uh, also checking uh, uh, relatives and checking by communication lines and landing in farmers' fields just to see what is, uh, what's going on and, and getting the latest. And Joe, take us back. Take us back to when the, the quake actually hit the South Island. What was that like? Uh, I woke up at about midnight and it was uh, rocking and rolling quite um, gently because it was so far away. And as a result, uh, we realised that it was such a gentle uh, quake. It may be bigger elsewhere in New Zealand, and sure enough, it was uh, about 160 k's north of us. Sorry, about 100 k's north of us. It was, uh, it's been quite bad with a lot of the infrastructure and roading out and the electricity is all out around the region as well. Joe, I want to talk about the anxiety though because this is not the first earthquake that people in New Zealand have had to deal with, that very big one happening just a few years ago. Yes, yes. Well, the 2011 one was quite substantial and uh, the February quake uh, it devastated our city centre. And it just seems to be ongoing. The aftershocks around here have been on and on and on. As we stood here before on the road, uh, there was more aftershocks rolling across the land. Uh, it's not a good place, um, a good situation to be in because you don't know when, whether it's going to be a larger one or a smaller one. So if these aftershocks keep hitting uh, the South Island, what advice are be people being told by the government right now as to how they might protect themselves? They've been told to stay away from any possible falling debris, uh, hillsides, um, roads, and uh, keep out of built-up areas where things could fall on them, parapets and so forth, which they're doing. And we've seen this in other parts of the world where people stay outside through the night because of fear of, of aftershocks. Are you seeing that as well? Yes, that's right. There was a tsunami warning when it was here. the tsunami hit the Kaikoura area, but it was um, it was uh, it, it came along with with and sort of dropped away of its own accord. Didn't cause too much trouble.